Yahshua. What does that mean? Well, if you take it apart, Yah and Shua, it's two separate words uh, to blend together to make that name of Yeshua, Jesus. And, and Yah is an abbreviated form of Yahweh, which means I am. And then Shua is salvation. And that's such a rich word in, in, in Hebrew. It's, it's, a, it's a complete and total restoration of all that God intended you to be. Complete and total restoration. That's salvation. It's a wholeness, a perfect wholeness. Perfect wholeness. And you are complete in Christ, the Bible says. And so his name spells out, I am salvation. Isn't that cool? I, I thought that was amazing when I, when I first learned that. I am salvation. That's the name of Jesus. I am your Savior. That's the name of Jesus. So call on him. Call on him and be saved. The Bible is so, it talks about God's salvation being so generous. It's so generous. He, sa he says, everyone who calls on the name of the Lord will be saved. Anyone who wants to can come and drink of the water of life, which is talking about the Spirit of God, which is the source of our salvation. The Spirit of God. Um, uh, one, one little fact. This, when you believe in Jesus, when you put your faith in Jesus, when you invite Jesus into your life, when you give your life to Jesus, all these things are just talking about this, this exchange that's happening. You're giving God your faith. He's giving you salvation and His Spirit. He gives you His Spirit on that salvation. It seals the deal. And, and, and so you can know, and, and His Spirit comes and lives in you and gives, bears witness that you're a child of God. And if you don't have that, then I would, I would check your salvation and just invite Jesus into your life and just say, Hey, Jesus, uh, I'm, you know, I must be born again. Lord, let me be born again. You know, um, I would even say this to some preachers. I would say, you know what? You've been preaching for 30 odd years. Um, you got a big church. Maybe you need to get saved. Maybe you need to be born again. Maybe you don't have what Jesus is talking about. Uh, maybe you don't have the Spirit. If you don't have the Spirit of God, you're not saved. Now, that's not to say that you know some people attach extra things to it. I think I've mentioned that in previous blogs about you know you have to be speaking tongues. You know, no, you don't. That's not. That's no. You don't have to be baptized. Well, you know what? Jesus asked us to be baptized. I don't think it's tied to our salvation. It's just an act of obedience. You know, I don't. I don't believe you have to be baptized to be saved. You just have to believe. You have to believe, and you have to have that exchange with God. And what that looks like in your life, how that plays out in your life, and your experience, and that's unique to you. That's just you and, and God interacting. That's the, it's that interplay. It's that exchange that needs to happen. So pray, talk it out with God. That's between you and Him. Um, and it's going to look different. I think it's going to look different. You know, just as every relationship, every human relationship is different. Your relationship with God is going to be a unique experience to you. It's not going to look like your neighbor or your mom or your dad or whoever else. It's not going to look like your pastor's experience. It's not going to, it's going to be yours. It's going to be special. Um, where was I? Oh yeah, the Spirit of God. Jesus describes the Spirit of God as being rivers of living water that just well, bubble up and just lead to abundant life. It's the love of God. It's the love of the Father in you. It's God's love being poured out into your heart by the Holy Spirit and Him coming to take up residence in you, coming to make His home in you. So invite Him in today and be saved. Get that abundant life that Jesus was talking about. Be born again, like, just like Jesus was talking about. You, can, you know, it's, it's as simple as crying out to Him, Lord, save me. In the sincerity of your heart, just pray. Uh, heck, why don't you pray with me now? I'll just say a quick prayer. You pray this in your heart. Uh, Lord Jesus, thank you for giving your life as a sacrifice for my sin on the cross. Thank you for taking every barrier between me and Father God out of the way. Thank you for taking all the shame. Thank you for taking every sin that I've ever committed, every sin that I've ever thought. Thank you, Jesus, for taking away everything that stood between me and you. Lord Jesus, I just receive that gift of eternal life. 
that gift of knowing you, that gift of, of relationship by the Holy Spirit. Thank you, Jesus, for that. Thank you, Jesus. I just receive it now in Jesus' name. I just pray that you'd forgive me of all my sin. Lord, help me to live a life that's pleasing to you and honoring to you. Lord, that I was created by you and for you. Let me just come back to that purpose. And reclaim my purpose as just your, a human being created in the image of God, created for you. Lord, I'm coming home. Thank you. Well, if you've prayed that prayer with me, and I'm totally reminding myself right now of like those TV preachers. If you prayed that prayer right now, I just want to send you a, a whatever. You know what? I just want to encourage you. Seek the Lord. Um, read the Bible. I, I read the Bible last fall in 66 days. It was one of the best things I ever did for myself. Um, it totally transformed my, my thinking, my whole way of life. Before that time, gosh, my relationship with God was just a bit sketchy, you know? I, I remember saying to somebody, you know, I keep my distance from God, and He keeps His distance from me, and we're okay, and I'm, I'm okay, and, you know, talking like that. I'm like, no, I, I knew something needed to change, so I dove into the Word of God. Do that. Read the Bible. Read the Word of God. Um, it's the most important thing that you can do for yourself. Immerse your, your mind in, your, in, 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 the, in just the Word of God. Get to know Him. through the, You know what? A great place to start? Gospel of John. You know, I tell people that all the time. I love the Gospel of John. It introduces Jesus to us. You know, John wrote that so that we might have eternal life. And, and one of the coolest verses in John, I just, I love it. It's, it's John 17, 3, where Jesus, because he knew he would be confused about what eternal life was, he defines it for us. He says, and this is eternal life, that they may know you, the only true God, and Jesus Christ, whom you have sent. It's about knowing God. It's about this having this relationship with God. That's what eternal life is all about. And John wrote the Gospel of John, his Gospel, specifically so that you might come to have eternal life, so that you might come to know him and have eternal life. And so he introduces Jesus, you know, to you. So read the Gospel of John. Believe in what you read. You know, uh, be challenged. Be encouraged. Uh, pray, pray as you're reading it. Or, you know, if you come up across a difficult passage, God, I don't understand this. Can you explain this to me? You know what? That's what His Holy Spirit does. It teaches us as we read the Word. It teaches us. The Holy Spirit will lead you into all truth. In the Gospel of John, it actually says that. Read the Gospel of John. That's a great place to start. And then tackle the whole Bible. The Bible is amazing. It's amazing. It's a book that God wrote. Holy men were moved as God's Spirit moved through them to write what they wrote. You know, using their individual personalities, yes, to be sure. But the words of God, conveying the word of God to us. Um, it's priceless. It's priceless. And people let it sit on their shelves. Ah. Uh, you know, the devil wants to keep us away from the Word of God. The devil wants to trip us up into sin. The devil wants to corrupt our minds through the media and through programming, um, TV shows, movies, etc., etc. It brainwashes you. It, it steals you away from the authentic experience of God, of eternal life, of what, of what it's meant to be. I find that most, most times after I watch a movie, and I love movies, don't get me wrong, I love movies. Most times, even in a fun movie like Mission Impossible 4, I walk out of the theater and I'm like, gosh, I've just been brainwashed, you know? I'm starting to think like, like they think, kind of worldly, you know, without God, you know? just. And we, we have to think with God, you know, he, He's with us. His Holy, when His Holy Spirit's in us, He's with us. And we're meant to live life with Him, with Him. And, and the, the Apostle Paul encouraged us to pray without ceasing. Pray without ceasing. It means you're just having a con constant conversation with God through life. You're just, you're just doing life with God. You're sharing life with God. And it's amazing. I can, I can tell you firsthand it's amazing. I experience God every day. And that's partly because I'm a professional Christian. <laughs> Part of my job is to walk with God. I have to. Um, you know, even when I don't want to sometimes, and I, I'm, I'm, I'll tell you what I do. I share uh, 
gospel music in nursing homes and encourage people through the gospel message and gospel music. It's gospel, gospel, gospel every day, day in and day out. And I love it. I absolutely love it. But I'll tell you, some, some weeks get long and I, and I begin to wonder, am I, just, am I just doing this because I'm getting paid to and just because this is my job, this is my role, this is my function? Am I just a professional Christian? Is this for real? And I have to like, I have to like, you know, dig deep and, 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 and you know, find my roots in Jesus and just, you know, yeah, land on the, the solid rock that, yeah, this is real. This faith is real. My relationship with God is real. The Holy Spirit's real. And it's good. It's good. It's the best life that, that you could ever possibly imagine, you know, free from sin. I, I'm surprised by that. I'm surprised by the innocence that God restores to you. You know, when you want it, redemption is yours if you want it. Redemption is yours if you want it. I mean, I'll tell you right that, right? You know, and it can turn on a dime too. You can go from like, okay, I'm getting tripped up in sin. I'm not living right as I should. And like, okay, God, I repent. About face, I repent, Lord. I confess my sin to you. And what does he do? He is faithful and just to forgive you of your sin and cleanse you from all unrighteousness, just like that. And you don't have to mope around like I did for years and years and years, wondering, okay, am I, did I outsin his grace? And, uh, you know, all this, all this false pride and false, you know, false humility, which is pride. You don't have to do that. You can just accept, you can just forgive yourself and accept the forgiveness and the grace of God and turn on a dime. You can be an alcoholic and not an alcoholic on a dime. Yes, I believe it. You can be a porn addict and turn on a dime and do an about face and just repent. And God restores your innocence just like that. You don't need years of counseling. You just need the truth to set you free. Jesus is that truth. Remember that statement? I am the way, the truth, and the life. John chapter 8 talks more about that. If the Son sets you free, you shall be free indeed. In fact, I am wearing a shirt. I mean, it says that. It says, pardoned. The sun sets you free. You shall be free indeed. John 8, 36. That means the world to me. Let me tell you, the word means the world to me. Jesus set me free. He can do the same for you. He set me free from a porn addiction, from all sorts of just ugly sin. He can do the same for you. So, my name is Daniel Lovett. I'm signing off. I hope this was an awesome encouragement to you and a blessing to you. I, If you got saved because of this, boy, do I want to know about it. Shoot me an email. Um, reflectworshipmusic at gmail.com. You can uh, send me an email there. Yeah, check out our music. Oh, I got lots of uh, wonderful music I'm giving away at my website, uh, reflectworship.com. Uh, you can check that out. If you want to stay connected, subscribe to my blog, subscribe to my, my video channel. I'll be doing more of these video blogs. Um, hope you're blessed.